Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, let's briefly talk about some Freddie Roach comments leading into this fight. Freddie Roach claims that Manny Pacquiao is faster than Floyd Mayweather, right? Pacquiao has the faster hands. You know, that's fine and dandy, but just understand that Manny Pacquiao has lost in the past the guys with slower hand speed than him, right? Um, I would say Pacquiao had faster hands than El Terrible, who beat him their first fight. I would say Pacquiao has faster hand speed than Juan Manuel Marquez, who has slower hand speed than Floyd Mayweather, right? And Marquez beat him. At a minimum, let's just say Marquez is competitive with him in every fight. Don't go by my opinion. Go by the judges' scorecards. So, hand speed does matter. But understand, I've been saying this for a long time. The biggest advantage Floyd Mayweather has in the ring is mental. Right? You can beat hand speed with timing. Right? You can beat hand speed with knowledge. Didn't Vernon Forrest beat Shane Mosley? Back of the bay. And after that fight, Vernon actually looks at the camera and says to young fighters, right, um, use your jab. Your jab can beat speed, right? There are a lot of things Floyd Mayweather can do, right, to neutralize Manny Pacquiao's hand speed. So guys are going to make statements to pub the fight. Just think it through. The fact that Pacquiao is faster than Floyd Mayweather doesn't mean that Pacquiao is going to beat Floyd Mayweather, right? Just like it didn't mean that Pacquiao was going to beat Juan Manuel Marquez, right? Let's talk about the weigh-in. Now, it took boxing years, think about it, years to figure out that maybe they needed to test for drugs, right this this is years years after guys like Ben Johnson were busted in the Olympics right this is years after several sports leagues established a drug testing protocol in fact this is the first generation in which we've actually had drug testing in boxing that's how slow moving boxing is if you think they're experts behind the curtain doing the right thing all the time, you're kidding yourself. Understand the idea of drug testing is so new that you actually have athletes still in the sport who thought it was crazy when it was first proposed. Isn't that why the first Pacquiao Mayweather fight didn't happen after they had agreed to every other term? Right now, of course, in practically every weight class, champions are saying, look, if you're going to beat me, you have to pee in this cup. You can't be chemically enhanced. It has to be a level playing field. Seems self-evident. It wasn't self-evident in boxing just a few years ago. Well, now we have the weigh-in. And the Floyd Manny weigh-in, I believe, is going to be the first weigh-in where they actually charge you to attend the weigh-in. You know what? I'm a capitalist. I don't have a problem with it. Right? Thousands of people have been showing up to weigh-ins going back several years. Right? Oscar De La Hoya weigh-ins would have thousands of people show up to look at Oscar. Here's what I want the promoters to consider, though. Right? Number one, and this is novel for Vegas. This is how crazy Vegas is. If you're going to charge people to attend an event, can you at least give them assigned seating? Right? I might be willing to pay 
a little bit extra to have a close seat where I can actually look at the athletes right since I gamble a bit I'd like to know does Canelo look like he has missed a few meals which guy actually looks like he's gonna make weight comfortably does Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. look 20 pounds lighter than he normally looks right so I'd like to be a little bit closer so I could look at things like muscle tone and just the way the guy looks so I can see certain things like how fast does that guy reach for that bottle of water after being on the scales right so I can notice things like you know the guy actually having to disrobe to lose that last point two of a pound right I want to figure out the whole dynamic so Vegas give us value if you're gonna charge for the way in allow people to know that they have assigned seats I want to look in my ticket and I want to see row eight seat two right I don't want to walk into the arena and then just hear it's oh sit anywhere first come first serve you know what that means there are no seats anywhere and you've paid for a ticket to stand up in the corner someplace right casino VIPs are in the great seats and you're standing up after having paid money so that's the first thing give us assigned seating the second thing is give us value in other words I don't want to show up and then have you know fighters who understandably are focused on the fight the next day come in looking all in character looking all tough shuffle to the scale go like this right you know they say oh 147 then the guy hops off the scale then he's gone right as is the money I've paid on the way in ticket right no if you're gonna charge us then at least allow other contenders guys who might not even be fighting to show up to the weigh-in make the weigh-in an advertisement for the sport so at this Manny Floyd weigh-in right why not have Amir Khan or Mikael Cotto or Keith Thurman right or Kel Brook why not quietly tell any contender who is in the top five in the division or who has a title in the division that they're gonna have two minutes to address the fans maybe in those two minutes they'll turn a you know Manny and Floyd or they'll call out Manny and Floyd fans and say hey the winner of this fight needs to fight me what more do I have to do right if I'm Keith Thurman for example I'd say I'm unbeaten I have a belt at 147 this fights not for the real 147 pound championship because no fight can be if I'm not in it right allow the guy to give a speech or allow the guy to just connect with his fans right have the guy show up and say hey boxing community don't forget I'm fighting on June the 6th at the Barclays Center and uh, blah 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 right in fact you can imagine the boxing hardcore who's hardcore enough to be showing up at a weigh-in is gonna recognize a lot of people right have any champion able to walk on the stage wave at the crowd right allow Carl Frotch to show up wave at the crowd say hey what's up aren't those the kind of guys you want sitting ringside anyway you know when you're watching a fight and they say here are the celebrities in the crowd why not allow those celebrities to actually show up at the weigh-in right I'm at a weigh-in and then Denzel Washington comes in have a requirement though that the celebrity has to tell you who he's picking in the fight make it interesting right if Robert Downey Jr. shows up at least have Robert tell us who he's picking and why right I'm taking Manny because of that straight left hand or I'm taking Floyd because of his counter punching brilliance right make it an event that's all I ask right 
Assign seating, make it an event. Make the weigh-in last at least half an hour, 45 minutes, right? You know, have Michael Buffer or Jimmy Lennon Jr. or whoever come in and talk, right? You might even have a moment there where the fans are allowed to question whoever is there. In other words, you know, if uh, Vladimir Klitschko was there, have a fan say, hey, Vlad, you know, tell us how you're going to fight so-and-so. You know, what about Deontay Wilder? You know, what are you going to do? Because you can imagine a fight like this is going to be a magnet. You can also imagine that if boxing figures out they can charge you for something, then the next time a big fight comes along, that something's going to have a price tag. Right? So, I got no problem with charging people for the weigh-in. Just give us value. Right? Let me also point out, too, that you could be in Vegas running the streets for a fight, right? Because, you know, you can imagine the town is buzzing when there's a big event happening that weekend, whether it's a fight or a big convention. Right? And if Vegas plays its cards right or wherever, right, I'm sure this is going to spread all over the place. New York City, um, Montreal, Canada, right, Sheffield, England. If boxing plays its cards right, you can have a group that might say, you know what, <coughs> $3,000 a ticket, $4,000 a ticket, I'm not going to go to the Floyd Manny fight, but I'm interested in the event. So if you package the weigh-in the right way, I'll attend the weigh-in, right? That'll drag me to Vegas. Maybe Vegas is savvy enough to have hotel deals where they say, Come to our hotel and we'll give you a VIP ticket to the weigh-in, right? Where you'll be front and center, right? Maybe Vegas can do that. Maybe the weigh-in is a way to actually allow more people to participate in the event, right? Make it kind of like an all-star weekend where people understand, you know, the Friday night before a fight is a party night and it kicks off with the weigh-in event right just food for thought and as you pub the weigh-in maybe you even want to pub the people who will be there right do it like you do a hip-hop concert where you say you know Amir Khan scheduled to appear you know what I'm saying and stuff like that so you know boxing fans can say hey I have to show up to this weigh-in just to hear Khan and Thurman, Sean Porter, Kell Brook make their pitch on why they should be the next opponent for the winner. Right? You know, food for thought. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let me also point out, too, that they're claiming the tickets for this weigh-in are going to be $10 each. The pay-per-view, <laughs> incredibly, is 9.99 times more expensive. That's how overpriced the pay-per-view ticket is. I've complained about that in an earlier video. I'm not going to repeat myself here, right? Think about it. They're allowing you to see the fighters live for less than the cost of this pay-per-view. Anyway, let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.